Good evening, brothers and sisters. I'm delighted to be able to speak with you this evening. It's Thursday, and uh, I've been thinking a lot about the concept of darkness. Um, you know, in the Bible, it's pretty clear that darkness is uh, an evil thing. We realize the concept of the outer darkness as a place where people are totally separated from God. And yet, uh, we know that there's deeds of darkness. We know that the scripture addresses darkness as both a uh, practical thing of it being nighttime or being dark without light as a definition of darkness, but also the idea of darkness in the scripture is very clear uh, as an analogy of a spiritual uh, aspect of one's life. And so uh, as I was thinking about that, uh, John 12, uh, verse 46 came to mind. I have come as light into the world. Here's what Jesus said. I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me will what? Will remain in darkness? No. Will not remain in darkness, which is spiritual and moral depravity, which is intellectual darkness, which is blindness. He says, I came so that they would not remain in darkness. Well, the implication of that verse is very clear. The implication is that the world is in darkness. And Christ said, what? I came into the world so that everyone that's inclusive of all human beings who believe conditional would not remain in darkness. And if you think about that verse and you jump over to to John chapter 1, we're familiar with, in him was life, and the life was what? The light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. What that word means there is, the darkness did not perceive it. The darkness did not attain to it, or was able to obtain it. The, the darkness was not able to seize it, or to take possession of it. And we know the reason for that. In John chapter 3, verse 19, it says, This is the judgment that light has come into the world. And men, what? Loved the darkness rather than the light. For the deeds of the darkness were evil. Then he goes on and says this, in verse 20, for everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light for fear that his deeds would be exposed. Just take a moment with me now and think about the darkness of our world. We have the light of Christ. We walk in the light. We live in the light. And yet the world is in darkness. And we see that darkness almost every day. We see shootings. We see uh, just evil acts. Some are so corrupt, you can't even believe it. And so where, where is the moral factor here? Where is the, where is the idea of spirituality? It's almost evaded our nation. It's almost evaded our culture uh, because uh, we are not a spiritual being. Uh, well, we are, but the world's not spiritual. And the darkness has come in and is squeezing out, is taking over that moral, spiritual, righteous character that used to be accepted in our world as something of value. I was thinking about that whole concept. If you remember in the book of Ephesians, what is it? What does Paul remind us of? He says, for you were formerly darkness. Yep, you were formerly darkness. We were just like the world. And it doesn't surprise us what the world does because the world is in darkness. They don't live in the light. They don't see the light. They don't respond to the light. They don't follow the light. The world is in darkness. It says, for you were formerly darkness darkness, just calling us darkness. But now you are light in the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Then it says, walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and all righteousness and all truth. Then it says, we are trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Do not participate in the what unfruitful, love that word unfruitful, deeds of darkness, but instead what exposed them. Now, it doesn't mean we run around, um, you know, reporting every deed of darkness that we see. What it means is we live in the light. And when we live in the light, what happens? It naturally exposes the darkness because the contrast between our lives and the deeds of darkness becomes very clear. Certainly, we report, you know, things of evil like murder or, or robbery or, or rape or something like that. But the idea of this verse is if we live properly, we live righteously, then the deeds of darkness become evident and are exposed. For, and going back to the verse now, for, in verse 12, for it is disgraceful, disgraceful even to speak of the things which are done by them being those in darkness in secret. So our world is full of darkness. I think we all know that. Yet we are called to be light in the world. And the reason we're light in the world is because Jesus was the light that came to the world of darkness. And he gave us the ability to live and to walk in the light of his love, the light of his truth, the light of his integrity, the light of his righteousness. He gave us light to shine in darkness. Have you ever noticed that when a light is turned on in a dark room, the darkness vanishes? And as we are light in the world, I pray that we'll live in such a way that the light shines before us and shines out of us in such a way that those who are in darkness will see the light. Remember what it said in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 and 10? You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own possession. And here's what he says. So that you may, what? Proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness Praise be to God, out of darkness into, and I love this song, into his what marvelous light. For you were once not a people. Yes, Lord. I was once not a people. But now, here's what it's, the Lord's promises, but now you are the people of God. You had not received mercy. No, we really knew nothing of mercy until we saw the grace of God. But now, you, believers, every one of us, have received his mercy. Praise be to God. So I want you to think about the light today. He is the light. He came to the world to bring light. And because you believe, you now live in the light of the light of Christ. This is the life we now live. Thanks be to God. God bless y'all.